Welcome to Mallow TV. World Alzheimer's Day is celebrated on the 21st of September. The theme for this year's World Alzheimer's Day is it's never too early, never too late. He's been with the Malamed family for five years already. Dr. Tony Tom, thank you for joining us. No, it's good to be here in Goshen. World Alzheimer's Day. Alzheimer's in itself is a stigma around it, but it teaches you patience. It teaches you kindness. Yeah, so it's a journey that uh, I want people to go through in terms of understanding the disease so that they, they connect with the family member who's struggling with Alzheimer's. And through that journey, uh, they learn things from that person who struggles with dementia about caring, patience, uh, a vulnerability that, uh, to live with the vulnerability. Um, and uh, to guide them through that process um, versus seeing it as a negative um, and not appreciating the our personal lessons we're learning through going through uh, caring for someone with Alzheimer's. There's no cure for Alzheimer's at the moment but how do we treat a patient who is now at age 65 plus who's going through Alzheimer's? Yeah, so the key aspect uh, that I always want to highlight is, um, yes, there's no cure, but uh, the family and the support system can learn the skills uh, and improve the skills to help manage the situation better. Yes, there's a few medication that do help um, at different stages of um, Alzheimer's that help support them from a, a medication point of view. But the key thing is to help uh, learn the skills, to guide them through these phases of firstly knowing an unknown disease and slowly progressing to understand a bit and eventually to accept the individual and build a relationship uh, with that disease. And so sometimes we get stuck at an early stage and that we don't progress. And the skill, what we want to teach people is how do you progress? How do we help them by learning about it uh, as the disease progresses, which is not always easy, but um, the more you learn and the more you work through it uh, and accept the, the lessons you are learning during that process, um, it helps to make this journey a bit better. As human beings, I myself sometimes too in conversation, I'll forget about something. My mind is trying to fetch something. But someone going through Alzheimer's, their minds are now going to work differently. What yeah. is an example? Yeah, so. The common thing that we mostly see people come with Alzheimer's is a short-term memory loss or the inability to learn new things. These are the first things. So people will realize they forget something in the short term. They'll remember something from the past quite clearly, but short term, something that they should remember easily, they forget. Um, also, small tasks that they were easily able to do, they start seeing, making mistakes um, and forgetting something in a place, not remembering how to recall where they might have left it, um, wandering a little bit. Then you also get uh, things that workplace where you're making mistakes that you wouldn't make mistakes, social situations where um, you act a bit inappropriately. Um, and then your mood might be irritable, you might get anxious more than normal, and you've never been an anxious person, and suddenly there's this paranoia. Um, and then one of the common things I see is often the family member starts withdrawing. They stop doing some of the activities. They get this apathy. They don't feel like doing some of the things. Maybe they enjoy going with a walk with the family. They don't want to be part of that. They don't want to do some 
uh, enjoyable thing that they play a game or something like that because they're afraid that maybe playing the game exposes that they don't they're making mistakes uh, small things like it might be very subtle but they pull themselves back um, especially at the earlier stages and family members might recognize it and think okay it's just aging or old age or um, the key thing to understand is these are, might be signs of early dementia, but it can also be an underlying uh, other pathology or other problem going on. But it's important for us to sometimes recognize somebody who is doing something well, suddenly changing, even if it's a subtle change, why? Um, and that question of why will help us uh, look further. It's our guest right here on Mallow TV, Dr. Tony Tom, a specialist physician. We are chatting about Alzheimer's and then also touching on dementia. I know of someone who, whose husband sleeps during the day and then walks around the entire night in their community and they're so scared because they don't know where he is because he can't find his way home. Yeah, this is the classic uh, sign of um, dementia and in particular of Alzheimer's, this is very common, uh, where you lose the awareness of where you are uh, is quite a common problem, of, uh, especially of Alzheimer's disease. And this is because it's affecting certain parts of the brain. Um, and the issue is that um, often with the Alzheimer's and dementia, there's a shift in our day to night cycles. Um, and so therefore they sleep often during the day and wake up during uh, the night um, or they almost hardly sometimes sleep. They might be always kind of busy or, or they might be the type that sleeps a lot. Um, so it definitely affects the sleep and this is usually when people really recognize the problem because when someone is causing disruption at home, early hours of the morning, suddenly it feels like it's a problem. Uh, till then, it, it's often something that people can mask with subtle things or um, put it aside as just aging. Um, and it's partly also because of our reserves as we go through the day. Uh, depleting almost. I almost describe it like a petrol tank. During the day we are still fresh. Our tank is full. As the day goes by, our tank empties. And so suddenly the behaviors that we could conceal when our tank was enough suddenly <laughs> start exposing when it's starting to empty or um, becoming depleted. And so that's why often at night or the evening time uh, many people will say, look, wow, I saw this person, they look fine to me. They were happy to chit-chat with me, because I understand that might be something they can keep till very late in the, in the disease. But then the family, when it comes at home in the evening, are having a nightmare. Uh, because certain f uh, functions are preserved, certain functions are lost, and it varies day to day, sometimes hour to hour, and month to month. And so something that might have worked very well this week uh, to help with their behavior doesn't work well next week. And so this is part of the ongoing challenge and understanding that our brain is changing and their brains are changing constantly. And we need to adapt learn new things, approach it differently, um, and recognize that this is part of the disease. And um, it's managing how we don't take it too personally as well as a family member sometimes. Give ourselves some time to reflect and understand that this is how they are. And at times I'll get it right, sometimes I won't. Um, but let's try something different. And that's where we, uh, we, different carers, different groups, all come with insights that 
might guide the family um, in terms of managing uh, the disease. It is our guest specialist physician, Dr. Tony Tom, who joins us right here on Mala TV. His contact details is on the screen. And as I said earlier, the theme for Alzheimer's Day, International Alzheimer's Day, is never too early, never too late. And if you need to reach out to Dr. Tony Tom, his details are on the screen. As always, like and share this video and share it with your loved ones. You never know who might need the information that we have right here on Mala TV. Until next time, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.